vlogging, as you can see, because um, Red from Little Red Reader made this wonderful idea called uh, one good thing or the one good thing project and she's already been doing it and I am three days behind because I forgot to film but I'm just going to do a compilation video of me and my one good thing a day so I did have one good thing yesterday and the day before that but I haven't filmed them so I'm going to start fresh from today I haven't had my one good thing yet today so this is just like the little beginning thing but I will see you guys soon with my one good thing for April 22nd. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to film my one good thing the day after it happens because I keep forgetting to film. So this is my one good thing for yesterday and it is, what was it? Oh, that I wrote five pages out of my eight page, eight to 10 page paper that's due in two weeks. So I'm almost done with that and I was really proud of the work that I did, even though it needs a lot of work still, but at least it's getting there. I started it. Woohoo! Um, right, yeah, it so. is the 24th, which means I have to write the day 23 one good thing. And it's uh, that I found out, sorry, I was looking at Matt, that I found out more information about one of my essays and I actually am not worried about it anymore. It's a one good thing. What was your one good thing today, Matt? I got a raise. Yay! It's one good day thing. Uh, I didn't film yesterday. Oops. But basically, my one good thing for both yesterday and the day before that is that Matt and I went and hung out with our friends who live in San Diego, and that was pretty cool. We drank a lot of alcohols, and we hung all out, and we stuff. Matt, what was your one good thing? No computer! Yay! Sunday's one good thing is that I went to work and it just so happens that um, how our cutting works as a server is it's not based on a specific time that your shift ends, it just is based on like the slowness of the restaurant. So. Um, me and one other person were in the room that we were sharing so there's like five rooms in the restaurant and we're in this one and she gets cut after me because she's the one that got there later um, but we're both on at the time and this party of eight walks in and Jesus Christ uh, so it, they come in 30 minutes before the restaurant closes and that was frustrating we always hate when that happens because Parties take a really long time. It's such a shitty situation because then you're there way longer than you should be. The kitchen is mad at you because they want to go home too. Everyone is just mad at you because it's your fault that they walked in. But we're really mad at you people who walk in 30 minutes before the restaurant closes. Don't do that unless you like only want dessert and that's it and then you're going to leave. Don't hang out. It's so annoying. Anyway, so I end up getting this table because I had less tables than her. I'm still not cut, blah, blah, blah. So I'm a little bit annoyed. But then they come in, they're like the funniest, nicest human beings on the planet. They've all served in the past. They're from Boston. They've got great accents. But more specifically, they have served, so they are aware. They ask me what time we close. I say at 9.30, which is 30 minutes from the point in time where they show up. So they order really fast. They get all of their food in. They eat. And then they ask for the check before they're done. They give it to me. I, they pay out. And then they hand me their, you know, signed check so that I can get the fuck out of there. And that was just such a nice thing. They also tipped me 25%, which is um, higher than the standard. So that was wonderful. So that's my one good thing for Sunday. <laughs> then today's Tuesday, guys. So I've got to announce... You know, yesterday's one good thing, and then I'll be done because that's what I've been doing. So, yesterday I got my paper back, one of them, uh, my big paper that was about a conversation. It was really cool, uh, and I can use it as a resume for my anthropological resume for like getting a career. Uh, and I got a perfect percentage, 100%. So, that was wonderful to get back and so far I'm doing really well in all my classes and that's just amazing to feel because I haven't gotten uh, like grades I've gotten you know B's most of the time um, the last few semesters and this isn't the first semester that I'm doing all classes that are in my major and uh, or minor major and minor and I'm 
passing everything with 100% and high grades and A's. So hopefully that continues as my finals come in and as my final papers get turned in and all that. So I'm hoping for the best and I'm hoping for a 4.0 this semester and I'm taking 15 units. So I've been crazy busy this semester trying to keep up that track record and getting a 4.0 this semester to bring my GPA up. So um, my GPA is a 3.4 so it's not like I have anything to, or a 3.3 but still, I don't have much to worry about, but yeah, so that feels really good. Okay, so that is all of my updates for the last few days. I will see you guys tomorrow with today's one good thing. Okay, so this is May 2nd. So yesterday's one good thing for me was finalizing two of my papers and... What else? Matt, what was your one good thing? Uh, I got redesign a purple bar for many hours. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's your one good thing for today? Mm, avocado dip. <laughs> avocado dip. He went and watched the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight at a friend's house. My one good thing for today was getting cut early because it was really slow at my restaurant. Probably because of the Mayweather Pacquiao fight and we don't have any TVs in our um, place of business. So that's probably why. And so I'm glad I didn't have to sit there for hours and hours. And I still made $80. Okay, that's it. Bye.